A monopsonist, remember, is a single purchaser of an input. So here's a typical graph of monopsonists. We've got a downward sloping labor demand, which is of course coming from the marginal revenue product of labor. It's kind of like the value of the worker to the firm. Labor supply slopes up and that comes from individuals and as the wage goes up they're going to supply more labor. And MEL stands for the marginal expenditure on labor and this is basically the cost of the worker to the firm. A monopsonist is going to choose to use the quantity of labor where the marginal expenditure on labor is equal to the marginal revenue product of labor. We'll call that QL star. Now the wage is not going to be MEL, the wage is going to be set according to the labor supply. So we find where we intersect labor supply and that is W star. Suppose instead this firm were using a higher quantity of labor, QL2. Well at QL2 this would be my marginal expenditure on labor and this would be my marginal revenue product of labor. So you see this firm would be spending more per worker than the value of that worker. And if that were the case they'd actually want to be using less labor. What if instead we were over here using QL3? Well now this is the value of the worker to the firm, the marginal revenue product of labor, and this is the marginal expenditure on labor. So in this case the value of the worker to the firm exceeds the cost of the worker in marginal terms, so the firm would want to be using more labor. So we've got these competing factors on either side driving us to QL star. But because it's a monopsonist they can actually drive the wage down to the labor supply curve.